Hello mindful foodies, Inga from Health Origins here. So I'm gonna show you how you can make a sweet dish which is um, these lovely caramelized pieces that you could put on ice cream or in your porridge um, from this which is your watermelon rind. So uh, last time I made a savory pickled um, watermelon rind. Today it's a sweet recipe. So let's begin. So I peeled the watermelon here, as you can see. Um, so first of all, I used a peeler to peel like the green layer off the watermelon. And then I've just sliced these, um, the rind off. And then um, since I've got them all here, what I'm doing is I'm slicing it into small pieces. So little squares. Like that and putting them into my pot so the next step of the process I've got my induction hob here I've got all of my rinds um, in the pot and I'm gonna pour some water to cover it so this is hot water you could uh, put cold water as well it doesn't matter but just basically you want to cover the rinds and we want to simmer this for about 20 minutes to make the rind softer. So this has boiled for uh, simmered for 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna just sip these um, to, to drain them. So you want to get rid of this water here. And now the next step is to put half a cup of sugar. So this is uh, coconut sugar, but um, I've used Rapadura um, unrefined cane sugar before as well. So both are good. And this is half a cup of water as well. I'm now gonna get this to a boiling point and I'm gonna simmer it for about 15 minutes until the water evaporates and the sugar starts kind of caramelizing and becoming nice and sticky on the pieces. So yeah, so it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes. Obviously watch and keep an eye out on um, and see how it goes. So that's how it's looking after about seven minutes um, cooking. So I'm gonna let it go for another seven minutes or so until, you know, it starts thickening up even more. So that has been 15 minutes. As you can see, the water has now evaporated and the sugar has caramelized pretty much. Um, you could give it maybe another minute or so, and um, it's up to you, but then it'll start kind of sticking to the pan. So yeah, so that's probably good to, to finish here now. So now on to the best part, taste testing. So I've cooled them down and I've added them to um, this little bowl. Um, and yeah, let, let me give this a go. Uh, we loved it on an ice cream before, but I'll just do a taste test on its own. Mm. It's got such a kind of interesting depth of flavor. Um, obviously, this is made with coconut sugar as well, so it's got slightly different taste to it as well than, than the ones that are made before with Rapadura cane sugar. But oh my goodness, it is delicious. It would go so well on an ice cream or a porridge, and it you know, uh, prevents waste. You can actually, you know, use more of your fruits that way. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. If you try it, if you're new here, welcome and subscribe for more videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And as always, remember, food is fuel. So be mindful of what you put in the body. Until next time.